Hype Space Village. Today is a great day. It's Friday and I've got something really important. The important thing is, you want to do things? Do it. Don't waste time. Don't ask permission. Don't uh, look into, oh, should I think about him or her or what's the company plan? The second important thing is business models. And there was so much discussion around this in the Florida Entrepreneurship course. And uh, of course, I'm reading Getting to Plan by B. That's an important book. And the definition comes like this. And I love it because it follows stocks and patterns. Uh, here we go. The definition is this. I'm reading it from the book. A business model is the pattern. Pattern means something that runs over time, okay? So it's important to see that in this axis in here, you guys will have <clears throat> time, and there is a pattern in here. In this case, it will be money or dollars or pounds or whatever you want. So there is a pattern of <clears throat> cash flowing in. So either you pick it up from the bank or other, other kinds of sources of funding, personal as well and flowing in and out of your business for various purposes and the timing thereof. Isn't this beautiful? We need to pay people in a certain time, correct? We need to recruit. We need to develop a specific product. We need to hire a new database provider. That's a pattern of cash going in and out for the right purposes. Now, we also need to think that this also needs energy, okay? So business model, okay, it's fine, but you need to have that energy and that purpose to drive the business. And the fantastic thing around here, and I know it's Friday, and, but I can give you a couple of more hints, is that the book talks about uh, things, analogs, that are, oh, this is the company or the person that I want to model myself to model the business too. I have a better idea, but I can model because they follow the path. One, anti-logs. I don't want my company or my work to be like this or like that. That's an anti-log. The next thing is leaps of faith. And it's like that hypothesis that you have that, man, I should do this this way. It's a leap of faith. And the fourth two, is called a dashboard and this is how you how and where you record all of the other things essentially the assumptions on product development and the assumptions on things that are they working well or not these assumptions become hypotheses and they can be tested and checked and reviewed because we are in the world of data go and do it space needs that and i've been having so much Outstanding conversations. This week just came in with a conversation on manufacturing readiness levels. And we've been talking about TRL, technology readiness levels. But these are just tools. They don't stop you from start doing what you need to do. So get out there, buy the book, or find the book, or buy the book, walk through it, the idea of these four patterns of things, it's interesting. And the summary of today is business model. The pattern of cash flowing in and out for the right reasons and thereof. It's fantastic. On top of that, you add your energy and your purpose. And you also feel this thing the same way. Energy over time, okay? It has a chart. Enjoy!